What is up, everybody? We are here for the Battle at the Border Championship game tonight. It's going to be Highland taking on your Alton Comets tonight. Uh, should be an exciting night. Th I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, we got about three minutes till the tip-off. I am super, super excited to be here. This is a big, it's prestigious tournament. Alton's in it every year, and I think this year they have as good a chance as any to win the title. Uh, we're excited to be here. Uh, thank you to Andy. Uh, for giving me this idea, and I'm thankful for the uh, Mammoth Spring High School for allowing me to come down here and get this game in. It is a big one. Uh, Alton coming off wins against Liberty and Sloan Hendricks in this tournament. Uh, Liberty did take the third place uh, fairly easily, I was told, in this uh, in this tournament earlier today. Alton Lady Comets uh, defeated, I believe it was Viola, to win uh, Consolation. Earlier, it was one of those deals where I was not going to be here all day. I wasn't. I didn't want to be here all day, and I didn't want to drive. I definitely didn't want to drive home and drive back. We got about two minutes and five seconds until the tip off. Uh, again, guys, I'm excited to be here. I appreciate everybody, and I also ask uh, that you bear with me as to where this was kind of an impromptu deal. So I'm not going to sit here and promise you that there won't be any bumps in the road, uh, but. We are going to get you this game. We Again, one more time, we are excited to be here with 142 left in the warm-up. Let's kind of take you. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to take you through Alton's schedule early, uh, earlier, early on in the season. I got I to gotta pull it up. So, again, I appreciate your, appreciate your patience. And then I will do a little bit of a deep dive into Highland as well. Both of these teams here at the battle from the, for the border, I do believe, is are from Missouri as uh, Highland's first game in this tournament was against um, Viola, who was an Arkansas, Arkansas school. And for those of you that don't know the way that this tournament is set up, it is in the first round instead of seeding, you're guaranteed an Arkansas versus Missouri game. Alton comes into this game at five and one with wins over Bakersfield, East Carter, Ellington, Liberty, two wins at Liberty, Hillcrest, and their only loss on the season at Bunker last Friday night. Actually, as the lineups are being announced. I will take you to Highlands. Chandler Sisko and Christian Orr. Are 
Highland apparently comes into this game. I'm looking at the wrong Highland. This Highland team might be from Arkansas. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I have no, I, I just know that they they beat Viola, I'm sorry. Uh, so we don't know <laughs> exactly. I know they got a big 6'8 kid walking to half court right now, so, and he looks pretty athletic. So we'll see as Highland and Alton will tip off at center court for this year's battle at the border championship. We're off, and Alton gets the tip off. Chandler Cisco getting up over an eight foot, or not eight foot, what the heck, 6'8". Player, here we go, and it's Brandon DeWolf handles the ball. Over to Cisco. Pulls up, three ball. No good. And the rebound pulled down for the Rebels. Mid-range jump shot up, air ball, and I can't see who is handling it. Looks like Cisco over to DeWolf, dribble drive, and could not get the shot that he wanted, I don't believe. Nice mid-range pull up there. Christian Orr gets inside, and one! Count the basket to start this game. What a way to get on the board. What a way to get on the board. And the free throw is good. Some full court pressure now by the Comets, picked up by Smith. There, DeWolf, good defense here in the back court. He got a wide open layup, and it's sent back by Christian Orr. DeWolf. Has a wide open lay in, it is good. Five to zero Comets here just a minute into this game. Good pressure here early on. Three pointer is up and no good. Rebound pulled down by Orr, we'll give it to Smith to push. Up to DeWolf. Dribble drive, Chandler Cisco wants it. Doesn't get it, but a nice reverse layup is two points still the same. Again, some full court pressure here by Alton. This is really thrown Highland out of a rhythm, stolen away. They get on the floor for it. Alton takes care of it. DeWolf had a shot. Nice dribble drive. It's up, rebound by Christian Orr, and it's fumbled around out of bounds. Ooh, good steal by Cisco up to DeWolf. Lays it up and in, it's nine to zero. Alton in a timeout, Highland Rebels. You cannot telegraph a better start than what Alton just got right there. That was, uh, they jumped out on him real good there. Full court pressure there broken. 
Down low, puts it up and is fouled there by Christian Orr. We'll go to the line for two free throws. First free throw is up, rolls around the rim and goes in. Nine to one now. Here with 551 left in the first quarter. And the second free throw straight through the nylon. Oh, oops, it's nine to two, my bad. Chandler Cisco handles the ball over to Jacob Smith. Down low to Orr. Chris Chandler Cisco with a wide open three. It's up, rattles around the rim and can't uh, corral the rebound. And Highland will head down the floor. Has a three in the corner, it's up. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by Orr. Cisco thought about the three, decided not to take it, dumps it down to Orr instead, who kicks it out to DeWolf. Dribble drive up to Orr, tries to kiss it off the glass, cannot get it to go. Highland again will. Push the ball up the floor. They're big man. He's six foot eight and he's dribbling like a point guard. Handling it like a point guard. Hand, hand it up the floor. Good defense there by Christian Orr. Gives the Comets the ball. Ooh, Chandler Sisko I think wanted an alley-oop. Hard fall. Doesn't get the foul, but he does get the bucket. Ooh, Chandler Sisko I think wanted an alley-oop. Hard fall. Doesn't get the foul, but he does get the Three-pointer is up. Straight away, no good. Christian Orr pulls down the rebound. I don't know how many rebounds Christian Orr has, but it's quite a few. Cisco dribble drive, pulls up mid-range. It is good. 13-2. Alton very early. A deep three, holy cow, he shot that thing from, Mar he shot that from Alton. It's no good. And Alton will now inbound with a little bit of late pressure, late full court pressure, I should say, from Highland. Brandon DeWolf handles it. He's capable of shooting the ball from way out there. Lobs it up to Christian Orr who goes and gets it. Reverse layup, gets it blocked. And Highland will try to push the other way. Their coach is telling him to go, go, go. I'm not real sure how good of an idea that is. Chandler Cisco has it. Jams it. Oh, my. Push the other way. Their coach is telling him to go, go, go. I'm not real sure how good of an idea that is. Chandler Cisco has it. What a dunk by Chandler Cisco. Holy smokes. Put that on the college recruiting profile highlight reel. I don't care. Goodness gracious, he slammed that thing. <laughs> if you go into a timeout after that play, what do you even say? Goodness. Holy smokes, that got my heart rate up. Because guys, I mean, he made that look easy. <laughs> that was not, not an easy play. Goodness gracious. And it's stolen away. Brandon DeWolf has it. Nice dribble drive there by Brandon DeWolf, who lays it up and in.
a turnover there by Highland. We'll give it back to Alton. 17 to two here. About five minutes into this game, Alton has busted it open really early. Thought about a three, puts it on the floor. Dribble drive, kicks out for a three. It's up, no good. Cisco flying in there, draws the, tries to draw the, he does draw the foul eventually. First one is up and good. Second one is up and good. 19 to two. Foul drawn there on Christian Orr. We'll send the big guy, number 15, for Highland to the line. Mid-range jump shot up. Oh, two free throws were good there. Sorry, I was replying to a comment on Facebook. <laughs> Chandler Cisco tries for the two points, can't quite get it. Alton will handle. Cisco thought about a deep three, it looked like. Down low, ooh, turned over. Well, no, not quite. Brandon DeWolf still has it. Foul called on number two for Highland. First personal foul, that's the team's third foul. DeWolf has it in the corner. Cisco has it at the top. Dribble drive, almost loses it. Back out to DeWolf, hits him in the face. But a good roll, and it's blocked. It's going to be hard to shoot over him if you don't have a high vertical or you're just not tall because he is a big boy and he's athletic. Laid up and in there. Six to 19. DeWolf has a mid-range dribble drive, and it's up and in. 21-6, 104 left in the first quarter. It will be Highland's possession in the second quarter here with 55 seconds. Good step over. There is a... Shot was uh, contested. DeWolf has it. Cisco wants it. Mid-range pull up is pulled down by Highland. 36 seconds remain in the first quarter. And a three is up and good. 21 to nine. Cisco will handle. Foul is drawn by Brandon DeWolf there at half court. Chandler Cisco will inbound. To DeWolf. Wolf. 
steps into the three. It's up. It is no good off the side of the rim. One second. He tried to draw a foul. Couldn't get the foul. It is 21-9 to nine after one. Uh, Alton jumped out big time to start this game. Uh, slowed down just a little bit, maybe. Maybe. Um, so just uh, a really solid performance, though, for the most part by Alton. I'm telling you, uh, that dunk by Chandler Sisko was something else. That was... Uh, Just a, a big, big, big quarter by Alton. It is 21 to nine after one. Island will handle the ball. Three pointer is up and good. That young man has hit two threes, two deep threes. He is two for four. Again, I don't know anybody from Highland, so I will just be saying numbers. Uh, and it's turned over there by Alton. Foul, foul uh, on number 35, Ryland Steele. If, if you're Highland, those are the shots you have to have. I mean, that, I mean you're like four inches taller than, I mean, you're a head and literally a head shoulders above this young man. You've got to be able to score over him or it's going to be tough to win. And another foul, and I believe that one, we'll see if it, it may be on Ryland Steele as well. No, it was on Jacob Smith. They were both kind of right there together. 